Attention on President Trump has shifted from the election back to his response to the coronavirus crisis. Longtime journalist Bob Woodward's new book, Rage, reveals comments the president made on his true thoughts about America's virus and race crisis. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman is here to break the details down for us. So, Rick, what did uh, what did Trump say exactly in those interviews with Woodward that are coming back to haunt him? The thing that's obviously getting the most attention is he told Woodward in early February that he knew the coronavirus was deadly, that was Trump's word, uh, and airborne. And Bob Woodward recorded those conversations so that uh, we can actually hear Trump saying that. Uh, Trump cannot, cannot deny it. He cannot say, Bob Woodward took it out of context or I never said that. He said it. Uh, and uh, of course, publicly, Trump at the time and uh, many times since then, uh, he was he was saying things like the virus will disappear by April. We have it under control. Uh, I mean, he's continued to uh, dismiss the seriousness of this virus. Uh, and you can even argue that he continues to do that. He doesn't wear masks at his rallies. Uh, he doesn't ask anybody else to wear a mask and all sorts of other things. So, I mean, we've got a, a, perhaps the clearest example of the entire Trump presidency of Trump saying one thing privately and saying it to a reporter, which is amazing, while he was telling the American public something very different. Rick, is Joe Biden pouncing on this one? Yep. Uh, as soon as this came out yesterday, Biden was giving a, uh, a speech and uh, he referred directly to the Woodward allegations. Uh, and th this is a, this is one of the probably the top. This is probably the top. Uh, thrust of the Biden campaign, which is that Trump has just bungled the entire coronavirus response. And uh, we need uh, to elect Joe Biden just to respond to the virus more seriously than we have so far. I mean, you know, back in the spring, I'm not, I think a lot of us thought by election day, uh, we would not really be talking about the virus so much, but it looks as if we will be talking about the virus uh, quite a lot, all the way up to election day on November 3rd. Uh, and we could even have a resurgence as it gets colder and people move back indoors. Hey, Rick, I don't know if you had a chance to see this, but uh, President Trump tweeted just a few minutes ago about this very topic. He said that Bob Woodward had his quotes for many months. So if he thought they were so bad or dangerous, why didn't he immediately report them in an effort to save lives? Uh, interesting way to look at that. But does he have a point? I mean, people are going to make of this what they uh, what they will. Um, and, uh, you know, so I think, you know, Bob Woodward has worked for The Washington Post. He actually does not work for The Washington Post anymore. Um, so he's he basically is just an author who writes books. But Woodward in the book is making the case uh, that Trump uh, may have an endangered law. I mean, this may have cost some people their lives that the president president wasn't being more forceful in his warnings to people. But Trump and Trump is not the only one. I mean, there are there are many, you know, some others, media critics, for example, uh, and not just Republicans saying, look, if, if Bob Woodward felt this was so important, why didn't he report what Trump was saying privately back in February and March? Woodward actually did respond to this uh, to a reporter at The Washington Post. And he his answer basically was, uh, I didn't have all the context I needed until much later in the process of writing this book. I wasn't sure uh, how to frame Trump's comments. Um, and, uh, you know, it, what do you say about that? I think without a doubt, as a book author, he wanted to save uh, the best nuggets for the book itself rather than um, kind of blowing his wad on a story that came out ahead of time. But uh, people will, you know, probably have some doubts about Bob Woodward on that one. I uh, want to switch gears here and ask you about uh, the stimulus package. So Senate Republicans are supposed to vote today on that so-called skinny package. I'd imagine this is going to be DOA uh, in the House, though. The skinny package means nothing to ordinary Americans. Um, this is just a political exercise so that Senate Republicans can say, hey, we passed the bill um, going into uh, the uh, elections in November. Um, I think the market needs to change its outlook here. The market needs to be pricing in the likelihood that there is no further stimulus bill, uh, perhaps for the rest of the year. Um, it, it just this is we're basically in a breakdown phase. Uh, Republicans, Democrats remain far apart. There's really no forcing mechanism at this point that r will force them to come to the table and make a deal. And uh, it seems that both sides think they are politically safe not giving in to the other side. So um, that means we may not see anything for the next two or three months.